Tonight, as we honor our 13 kids who care, we take a look back at their accomplishments. Jessica Layton is with the kids and their families tonight with a wrap-up <laughs> banquet at the Holiday Inn on Wolf Road. She joins us now live with the entire group. Hi, Jess. Here they are, Jim. How you doing? It has been a great year and a great banquet. Are you guys all having fun tonight? Yeah. Energetic crowd of all ages, 10 to 18 years old, all over the capital region. We traveled 300 miles and to eight different counties to catch them all in action, doing what they love, dedicating their time and their talents to others. From Gilderland to Gloversville, Schenectady to Saratoga, and Albany to Amsterdam, we met 13 young people with a passion for people of all ages. Our role models live to put smiles on the faces of the young and the young at heart. Oh, it makes me so excited to know that I'm helping people. Some make it their mission to help children who are sick. I've learned that some people underestimate kids with diseases, but I've realized they're just like everybody else. And kids with disabilities. I just see them laughing and it makes me laugh. And I see them having fun and I have fun. They're setting the bar for at-risk teens, proving you can do anything you put your mind to. If these kids learn one thing from you, what do you want them to take? Um, that you can't, that things don't get handed to you. You have to work hard for it. Leading by example with their many talents. And then just give it their all and just completely follow it through no matter what it is. I mean, that, I think that's definitely the most important thing is to keep the motivation going and to keep pursuing it. Learning a small gesture can make a huge difference. Impacting a lot more people than I thought it would. They all have. Ages 10 to 18, our 13 kids are mature beyond their years and they've set the bar high for all of us. And once again, as we do every week, we want to send a generous thank you to our partners in this project, St. Peter's Healthcare Services, who have made a $500 donation to all of these kids' favorite charities. Now, some of them are in eighth grade and will be going on to high school. Others are seniors and will be leaving the area for college next year. But I have a feeling no matter what, Jim and Benita, we're going to be see, seeing a lot of them, all of them, in the future. Reporting live, Jessica Layton, now back to you. Thanks, Jess.